The elevators are over there, so that means... We're on the other side. Alright, hey guys, it's your boy Tofu here, and welcome back to another episode of Zero Escape. And uh, where we last left off, we just got through the kitchen of obli obligatory bullshit. Got locked in a freezer for a bit. Uh, Lotus didn't help us at all. But we're here now, we're in the hallway, and we're on the other side now. We also got the key card, which is important to note. But uh, so far it's good. I'm glad we're trying out the, the new wave. But I assume now we're going to catch up with everybody downstairs in the med lab or the med wing and go from there. And then I'll have to choose another door. So let's see what's in store for us because it's pretty much a new story until that point, I suppose. We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. Yeah, yes we did. Um, and behind us should be the, the staircase. So... Hopefully that means only good things. That means the map was right. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Where can we go from here? We're we gonna go into the casino room? Yeah, we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? Oh, okay. He's right. Let's get started. From the looks of it, there are four possible routes. Oh shit, what, really? We can decide where we go from here? Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. Well, A and B are useless to us because those are, those are the casino room, or the casino room, the full room, and it's that's a dead end. C would take us, I think, towards the, the the fancy room, so D would be our best option. But I don't think we can go First, into D A yet. and B. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. Yeah, that's like the nice casino room that I we got locked in on our first round. Yeah, there were two doors. But they were both locked. We oh, couldn't open. Oh, they're locked? Now, route C. That's just a hallway. This goes all the way to the main staircase. Yes. Unless, while we were locked in there, this group went down the hall and got the key to open the staircase. It's very possible. That means it's door five, one of the numbered doors. Yeah, probably. Then do you think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? Oh shit, the door's already open. Never mind, we should just go downstairs. No, I don't think we will. No, they probably got through here already. They're done. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. So we must have entered when they were already in the other rooms. They probably cleared it and got out. But it's open now. Mm. What do you think that means? They probably came through. They opened it. Most likely. And if we take Route C, we're going backwards. Sort of. But we don't know what's down there. That would be pointless. Then that means... Route D, then. D it is. Yep. Route D. Then we're set. Huh. To think everybody would just stay with D and that's it. Everything looks okay here. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. There's yeah, the water. Just like I thought. D deck is totally underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. At least the water level hasn't really changed. Small comfort. May as well head back to C deck. I don't think so. I think we're fine. Oh, yeah, I guess one floor up is C deck, the main one we were on. Hmm. What else is here? Well, if I remember correctly, the left has just a bunch of medical doors, and the right has the big room. There are two elevators over there at the top of the stairs. There's also that elevator. Just like the floor above. Hold on. These are kind of different. See? There's a card reader on the side. Another strange mark. Hey, look! It's Lotus's symbol! <laughs> huh? See? It's the woman symbol with horns on it. That seems like... Oh, shit. Oh, out, 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 she out, fucked out, you out. up, dude. You you spoke way too soon on that joke. What was that about the mark again? <laughs> uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> this is a Mercury symbol. The horns symbolize the wings on Hermes's staff. I, I Hermes, remember this. Hermes, whatever. <laughs> if we can't get this thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. 
In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Which one do we have? I think we have the uh, Saturn symbol, I think, on our card. I guess we can't get on then. Hmm. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. All right. How about this hallway on the left? Whoa, there's so many doors. Damn it. If we try and search all these, the sun's going to go down before we've done half of them. It's a good point, and we probably don't have the time. But I feel like right now everyone's in the main room, so I wish we could I go the there. The sun already set. <laughs> Thank you, June. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. That's even worse. <laughs> nice. Well, we can come back to this hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> time to head back to the stairs. And now the right hallway. Uh, there are doors here too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Yeah. Let's open them. All right. Let's start with this one. Huh? It isn't locked. I'm going to open it. I love how you probably just jiggled it and thought, "Oh, this isn't unlocked. Cool. Let's go." Ooh. All right. So we're back here. <laughs> is this? This place is huge. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is is this a hospital? I would like to say this is the gigantic. I, I guess I mean I don't know it's the best assumption I have, but it's a medical room. It definitely has the smell. Does it? I guess I don't know. I'm not there. I can't experience it, but I okay, sure I'll take your word for it. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. So the left door says three. Shit, what door did we go through last time? I think seven. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And, then and the rightmost eight. door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Why is the second door blank? Well, it is the entranceway back to here. All of them coincide kind of strange, and come back out here. Don't you think? Sort of, I guess. Sort of strange. No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. All right. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Oh, it's no use. I also think these are before the batteries are replaced, because you can tell none of them are on. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? We have to activate the red, or the numbered doors won't... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Yeah, I think... Huh? I think Zero... This definitely was like a solid fact that Zero is one of us, or at least among us, because... These get replaced. So unless someone's a part of the game, they wouldn't replace these. Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase? If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing on it. Exactly. Right? I wonder if it's broken. Only one way to find out. And that is... Oh, you test it with your hand. Okay. It's not responding. Well, I mean, if vacant wasn't there in the first place, Santa, I would assume it's not working, but okay! How about the red on door seven? They're all dead, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through you and say they're, they're all the dead. Same team. Oh, shit, so we'd have to hope that Akane's safe while we're gone. If we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. That's not a good sign. <sighs> have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. You've got two choices, seven or eight. Well, then what was the point of giving me fucking three? You can't choose three. If you choose three, you're going to be leaving three people behind to die. That's... Okay, yeah, at this point, they don't know that it just comes back. But okay, I agree, man. So what are you going to do? Seven or eight? Time to choose. <sighs> After thinking it over, his conclusion was... 
We'll take eight for now. Okay, okay. Fine. And we'll see where it takes us. And then we'll come back, obviously, for three, so. All right. I choose door eight. Okay. Eight it is. Yeah. All right, Ben. That means June's got to go through seven. Huh? Why? Because we can't be together, June. It sucks. <sighs> Junpei, you figured it out, right? Can you explain it to her? Okay, so, June, if we want all six of us to go through a door... Oh, no. Exactly. You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. I mean, I wouldn't say long time, but I would say considerable bit. Uh, hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. No, oh, they sound like lovebirds. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. Oh shit, wait, is this like mixed memories where it's like he... Okay. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? I mean, they have to. There's no way the three of us can make it into a nine door, so we'd have to meet up to make a nine door. If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Good point. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? Yes, I promise. <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. Jesus Christ, she's so sassy now. Alright, we're ready to go then. Let's move. Are you ready? I guess as I'll ever be. Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's see what this door has in store for us. It's open. Okay. Hurry! June. Jumpy. Aww, she's like waiting for me. What the hell are you doing? Eighty one seconds left. Hurry. Yeah. Well, that was quick. Oh, it stopped. Yep, another. I guess, dead down. Pointless. Come on, Clover, don't be so negative. What an unpleasant girl. She thinks her brother's dead. Which he is, but still, come on. Let her go, Lotus. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. I bet you're not very popular with the men, either. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. <laughs> nice. Too late now. I better catch up to them. It's like oil and fire over here. Oh, it's a dead end. Really? There's a door on the left, though. A laboratory? Yeah, how does this door open? Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Trust me, the other place is... <laughs> Trust me, I don't, I don't like the look of the other place either. The other one was, like, what, the operating room? Yeah, that wasn't pretty pleasant either. Me either. But there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Hmm. Jinpei. Yeah, Lotus? Huh? Please. You first. Oh, fuck you! Ugh, fine. Yeah, you throw me to the wolves, huh? Oh, this is a cool room! You know, I think the window looks into another room. 
I I have to agree with you because it's a see-through window. But okay. Maybe it's for monitoring something. I guess the the tests are conducted inside that room. What the hell? <sighs> looks so creepy. Oh god, why is there a doll on the table? It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. Sort of is. I think it's going to give you mental responses, but okay. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Hmm, but for what purpose? Ooh, uh. It's creepy either way. You don't think that thing's going to suddenly sit up or something, do you? Uh, I don't think so. It's a doll, first and foremost. Well, I don't know. I'd like to hope not. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. Well, this is kind of funny because in the third one, there's robots that do move as you, like, don't look at them. So this is actually kind of cool. <sighs> Stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. Uh, yeah, probably. Wait, where's Clover? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, there she is. What is she? Are you okay? What are you talking about? Well, you don't look good, Clover. You look upset. Concerned. Scared, even? What? I, I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? But it sounds like you're upset, and we're trying to look out for you. I know Lotus is a crazy woman, but, you know, everybody else cares. Well, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay, then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Uh, angsty girl. Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it! Yeah, I do! Okay, your brother's gone. You don't know where he is. He's probably dead. But it doesn't... It's not a good sign. It's not a good feeling either. I agree. But at least... I don't know. Talk to people. <sighs> I feel like a parent. My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Yeah, he was thrown into a room and murdered. It's kind of a more difficult... Thing than just leaving you behind. Something happened to him. Something. Something bad. And you're gonna get to the bottom of it, right? Yeah. What happened? Ah, fucking Lotus. Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Hey, wait, Clover. Fuck, she just walked away, didn't she? Hold on, that way is. I told you to leave me alone. Don't just walk off, then. Clover, watch out above you! Wait, is the door gonna close? Oh, fuck. What the heck? What's going on here? You're gonna have to perform the autopsy, Clover. Hang on. I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out. You'll never do it on your own. <laughs> yeah, Clover, I don't think you're gonna do it either. Damn it! It's not moving! Of course not! It's a metal door! Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? No! We're gonna go figure out why you're locked in there. We're gonna try to get you out, don't worry. No, I'm not giving up. This has gotta be another one of Zero's puzzles. Exactly! If it is, then there's gotta be a way to open it. Exactly! See, you guys are getting it! We gotta figure out the puzzle to get her out. Just what I was thinking. Now all we gotta do is find it. Yeah. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're gonna have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. Good, see, now you're cooperative. All right, game time, boys and girls. Let's solve a puzzle. Cool. Whew, hope this one's not as difficult as the other room, but it seems really small. I mean, a lot of it's gonna be on her end, I think. But all right. Um, we have two doors here. We need a key. That probably turns on this keyboard. Hmm. Anything in there? No? All right, nothing useful in there. Well, that's great, Lotus, I'm glad. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Lotus, a power cable. 
Alright. I'll take that. So we got a nice power cable. Nothing else. Alright. There's a clock. Hmm. It's uh that's important. That might be important to know the time. Hmm. Two levers. Alright. Nope. Doesn't do anything. So they have to be on. Another keyboard. Nothing. Alright. We have a bunch of them off. Okay. So we gotta get all nine on. Hmm. Oh, it's so the unlocked one. Ethanol. Okay. The box is on top. Hmm. Alright, nothing so far. Nothing of importance there. Now we're back here. Alright, so she has nothing in there. Okay. Clover, there's a door over here too. No, it doesn't work. We need to get this pad on. <laughs> She's looking, all right. Yeah, the plug. Okay, I guess. Alright, so that's cool. We could at least activate work with her. Ah, uh, exactly what we needed. Okay, let's uh, combine these things. Bam. Alright, now we gotta go here. Hmm. Okay. And we got a computer. Oh, that worked. What it do what? though? Hmm. Huh? It's running on its own. It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? Sort of, but it's also probably intentional. What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? You mean, wait, why a wireless? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. So this is just like a, okay, it's a, kind of like a cloud, okay, I got you. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Maybe he has. Maybe he doesn't have a laptop. You don't know. Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Where did you work? Oh. Oh, it stopped. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. Password? Could you go take a look? Sure. Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. What are you, like a Lotus? secret hacker? All right. Let's kick some ass. Uh. Wait, what? Didn't expect that, did you? Of course I didn't. Yeah, you're just a hacker all alone? You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. Well, at any rate, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> did you fall for me again? Whoa, 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 what do you mean, again? I'm not into you. I know, I know. Don't be so stubborn, shy boy. Oh, God. 
I am not being stubborn. I am not shy, and I am not a boy. I am a young, healthy, 21-year-old man. You're 21 years old? Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna fall for an old lady like you. Old lady? Did you just say uh, old lady? Why would you do that? Uh, well, I, uh... I've had enough of you. Go somewhere else. You're bothering me. Yep, and that's how you get murdered, Junpei. What? Go see if you can find a password hint or something. <sighs> okay. I'll try and open this from here. Uh, You're distracting me. Go. Now. Fine. I, I guess I'll go. Hmm. <sighs> Nothing. No clues whatsoever. Clover didn't find anything useful in the laboratory either. Damn. Looks like we've hit a dead end this time. Well. All right. Dead end for Bullseye. now. Jimpei, I did it. What did you do? <laughs> what? Let me see. What is that? A puzzle? I don't have any idea. It just showed up after I cracked the password. You think it's a puzzle? It certainly looks like one. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. Oh, so you did all this backdoor shenanigans and now you're stuck at a thing where you actually have to enact it. Okay. See? The keyboard. Nothing. Hmm. So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, alright? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well... I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Hmm. All right. I'm trying to think of how I solve this puzzle. Because it's basically this. Wait, what? Ha! <laughs> I just a guessed. All right. Fuck it. I'll take it. That was quick. Yeah, I did just hear a door, something unlock. Probably the lockers on our left unlocked. Yep. Oh, shit. We got keys. One's probably the ignition key. One's another key for something completely different. Oh, the earth key. Oh, so this is where they found it. Okay. Cool. Yep. All right. I wonder what- Hey, Junpei, do you have a minute? Sure. What's up? Um, well, never mind. Hey, hold on a minute. What does- Sorry, just forget about it. It's nothing. Ugh, why you gotta be so complicated, Clover? What the hell was that? She probably wanted to tell you something, but then got scared and stopped herself from saying it. It obviously means something's on her mind, but... Alright. The next monitor's up and running. Power restored to experimental device. Emergency systems will activate in an event of abnormal subject behavior. Okay. All right, so I assume, yeah, pen lying here, okay. Uh, ethanol, the thing we have. Why are you so apologetic now? Huh. 
Lapidur ethanol, yeah, this thing. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I gotta find another item. Hmm. I have no items. What can we do? There you go. It's wiping off the permanent ink. There's some kind of weird drawing under all the permanent ink. What's the deal with that drawing Clover found? Uh, what is it? Numbers and some kind of grid. Alright, so we got those. Probably this to get plugged back in. Were they? Hmm. See, that's really weird. Okay, so experiments were going on. I'm trying to think of what we can do in here. We checked the rack. There was nothing. She's gotta increase the voltage. Uh oh. I hope that doll doesn't freak the fuck out. Oh fuck. Did that just open the door? It did. All right, cool, we got her out of there. That's not good. All right, we gotta get her out of here then. <laughs> I understand that, Clover. Yeah. I guess that was a really short puzzle. I mean, it was pretty much find the keys at that point. But all right, cool. So I'm glad we got through that one. Just took a little bit of clicking around and causing explosions. Uh, whew, thank God we got out of there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, finally. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. Whew, all righty. Okay. Now we should reach the long hall that connects Damn, to the other none room, of these right? Open. They're all locked. Of course. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Uh-huh, so they got through their room too. Huh? June? Santa! Seven! Hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. Oh, the map. On okay, map we found the ship's it. Interior? Cool. It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that what I said? No, I didn't hear that. We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. Oh, you meant before everything. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. I mean, can all of us open door 9 right now? 
That's how the notary game works. Wait a sec. This leads to... The medical room again. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. Cool. Alright, let's see what's inside. Or, I guess it's just the same room we saw already, but still. Still a room. I knew it. We're back. Alright, so we're back here again. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Well, I'm glad you're back uh, and awake, Ace. Let me check the flow chart, because I'm curious. So, our decision led us to what? Obviously, none of these... D oh, we did that. Okay, we did this little hook off here. Okay. Now we're back to here. And then I guess our decision from here will lead us to our, I guess, end goal. Depending on which way we go. Okay. And there was a decision. I guess if we force three, we can go down there. And we can go forcibly down that route. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool. So, I, I see a lot of things we can get done, I suppose. Um, what does the green path mean? Per chance. Hmm. I don't know if green is the one we chose versus the one we didn't choose. But at least we're in a different six path of you now. Split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Exactly. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. Correct. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. Uh, don't beat yourself up over it. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. <laughs> Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Agreed. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Well, we have the Earth key, too. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So this is Jupiter. I'm gonna let you hold on to that, alright? Yeah, on it. So, how many unused keys do we have now? There's the Earth key we found in the laboratory. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. Yeah, so these are the three keys. So it was Saturn, and then now we have the Jupiter and Earth. Okay. And the Jupiter key you just gave me. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yes, and I think that'll bring us back to the main hall. Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Exactly. Okay, so we'd be back to square one. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? I agree, we should check it out. Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight just lead us back to the big hospital room. But we checked the 7 and 8, and we didn't find our brother, so we should check 3 to find him. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. I agree. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door 3. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. Can I come too? I guess I feel like I should be in the group going to see what's gonna happen. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. What, seven and one would make eight, plus Clover, it would equal out. So I'm going with you, huh? Yep. Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. All right, and there they go. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. Oh, yeah, because she's playing like a numbers game. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Pretty much.
All right, so they're gonna go away. I hopefully okay, we're off later, Ace. Hopefully this time we can go to the Earth door instead. I don't want to go downstairs. I want to see what's upstairs. All right, we should get moving too. Yep, we should. Huh? Get moving. Yeah. So basically, we know that Snake's dead. We saw that part. It doesn't necessarily affect us anymore. So I'm going to go through each decision and see where that takes us. I'm probably gonna just from here on forward only show like new content. It makes it a little bit easier to um navigate the episode and at least every episode now will be guaranteed new stuff and not repetitious old dialogue we've heard already. Can't believe we're voting here. We have to, Seven. We gotta go know where we're going next. And I think I went to six first, so I wanna check out We two. need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Shut up, Santa. How about that? Um, well, wait, for five and six, it's, tw it's two already, so we can't make any of those. Hurry it up, mm. Mr. I have a brilliant idea. All right, Santa, you're one step away from getting punched. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. Mm. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, not at all. No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> nice. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the elephant man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But, uh... Calm down, Lotus. We gotta figure it out. Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. <laughs> Dude, how old is she that she, everyone keeps calling her a grandma? I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? <laughs> Says the amnesiac. Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. No, not at all. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. Yeah, before what? everyone gets murdered. June wants door six. Yes, I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. Thanks, June. You're fantastic. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... Yeah, we chose six last time. I want to go through door two. My choice is door two. Hey, wait a minute there. I know, it's not possible. We'll have to flip our groups around to do it. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. No. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready. Oh my god, I planned that far ahead? Fuck yeah, Junpei. And I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. What do you mean I got lucky? Alright. So we know who's going through door two. It'll be me, Lotus, and Junpei. Bingo, alright. The only problem's the other two teams. June and I want door six. Clover and I choose door one. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Why don't Santa and June go into door one with Ace? What, and leave you by yourself? Huh? Well. Then what will you do, Clover? I'll be waiting at the stairs. Oh, fuck. I don't want to leave her alone. You guys are coming back here, right? That's what Seven was saying, wasn't it? Eventually, yeah, we'll be back, but still. We aren't going to be, be split up permanently until we find door nine. 
We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. All right. That's how the notary game works. I'm sorry, but I just want to be by myself for a while. Well, yeah, after knowing that your brother was killed, I guess this is kind of like the best course for you, but... I mean, for your feelings, sure, but I don't think it's a good one, but... You understand, right? <sighs> uh. All right, I'm going through door one. That all right with you, June? Yes. Well, we'll be going then. All right, they're out of here. <sighs> Let's move too. Yeah. Right, let's go. I won't see June for a while, but this was my choice. I'm just going to have to suck it up. I mean, if even if I went with her, she's going to have a fever hit soon, so it wouldn't have been very helpful. Seven said we'd all see each other again, and I'm going to believe that. The other group went to A deck to go through door one. Oh, Earth door led to one. Okay. Clover joined them. Our group is on our way too. We're heading to the bottom deck using the elevators. I wonder what we'll find down there. Oh shit, okay, yeah. I completely forgot that there's like complete there's different pathways down there. We ready? As I'll ever be, I guess. Yeah, anytime. I'll go first. Let's go. Whew, okay. Where the hell is it this time? Oh my god, it might be in a room. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Oh good, it's in the hallway. All right. Didn't die this time. <sighs> huh. <sighs> it stopped. Oh, yeah. It stopped. <sighs> Huh. Man, I'll never get used to that. If you say so. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Damn right. All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three on the left, and only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're gonna get anywhere that way. Yeah, it looks like an exit door or an entrance. It, it, I don't know. It doesn't look like it goes anywhere. All right, like we can't started. use it. I think we'd probably better split up. Is you okay with that? Yeah, for now, to open doors, sure. Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. I'll try the one next to it. Well, I guess I'd better get started too. Alrighty though guys, I'm gonna call this episode here. I feel like it, we kind of got, we were just jumping around this episode, so I'm sorry for it to be short, but I'd rather give you content that's new and constant instead of, you know, flooding you with just repetitive dialogue just to fill in time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're excited to see some more puzzle action in the next one. But uh, as always, I hope to see you guys in whatever I make next, and it's your boy Tofuru. Signing out. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, dog. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, dog. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, dog. When it's over, I press rewind, dog.